Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Nimesha Gamhevage, consultant pediatrician. In this video, we are going to talk about jaundice in newborns. It's a common entity, but could be really dangerous. So what is jaundice? That is actually the change in the skin color of your baby, where the baby's beautiful pink color turns into yellow. So you first observe this in the baby's face. Starting from the face, this goes down into the body and finally into the limbs. And in the latter stages, you can observe this in the palms and the soles. Why is it dangerous? Actually, jaundice is due to a component called bilirubin, which is there in the bloodstream of the baby, which could be very toxic to the baby's brain. So, when present in very high quantities, this can actually damage the baby's brain, resulting in permanent brain damage. So, that's why we all need to know about this entity and then carry out proper treatment and identify these babies early. What are the common causes? Commonly, we see this entity in babies born to mothers with blood group O or negative blood groups so there's a bit of a discrepancy between the baby and the mother's blood group and the other main reason is unfortunately feeding failure although we talk a lot about breastfeeding we commonly see some babies not getting adequate feed, adequate amount of milk just because of the poor feeding technique so they get dehydrated and they develop jaundice as a complication sometimes we see babies infected with bacteria also coming with jaundice so what can we do when we see a baby with jaundice to help to improve or recover? First of all, the common and the most convenient method of controlling bilirubin level in the bloodstream is to start the baby on something called phototherapy. So this will be a blue light started just above the baby's body. So the baby is kept exposed to this blue light until the bilirubin level comes down. So we can use either one unit, two units or three units depending on the bilirubin level of the baby. At the same time, it is extremely important to keep the baby well hydrated. This is done according to the baby's situation, either with mama's own breast milk or sometimes in severe cases. We might have to admit the baby to the baby rooms to start some intravenous saline or other fluids. Some babies do need other intensive treatment like infusion of a special medicine called immunoglobulin or in very rare and severe cases where we suspect already a brain damage could have happened, a thing called exchange transfusion where we change the baby's blood. So this is very rarely done and most of the time with appropriate identification and careful management we can prevent complications. So know about this important entity or complication that a newborn can get yellowish discoloration of the body and try to identify early and prevent complications. Thank you.